What's good, fam? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? How we doing? So when I was going through the video yesterday where we were kind of going through the, the patch notes and stuff, I totally missed going through the dungeon and arena sets. For some reason, I just glossed over this, and I, I have no idea why I did this. But, you know, this is this is not a personal jab. This is not anything like that. This is constructive criticism. But this change to Tormentor has to be the most out-of-touch change I've seen them do in a long time. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me think that the people, you know, writing the, you know, writing the patch notes and doing all that stuff are not even playing the game. Now, that seems, that seems really intense. So why am I saying that? Let's go ahead and read through what it says. So for Tormentor, which is the heavy armor set that you get from Banished Cells, it says this set now only taunts the first enemy hit by the ability that activates the set, rather than taunting any and all enemies hit by the ability. Due to this change, the set can now trigger off of blinks, like Streak. Um, this set now also heals for 45% of all damage done from the ability that activates the set. All right, so what was this set used for originally? In ESO, the way tanking works, it's very different than other MMOs. And it was something that actually kind of turned me off of it and kind of typically burns me out a little bit on tanking. And I tank in every MMO. I love it. So in ESO, they have a philosophy, don't know why, where they want you to only single target taunt, and they only want you to taunt really the priority mobs. So the boss, the big mobs, the guys that do a lot of damage. And essentially what you're supposed to do is let your group kind of burn down the other ads. Now this is not intuitive. When you come to ESO, a lot of people are like, what am I doing wrong? You know, how do I taunt all these enemies at once? And we're always like, ah, oh, you don't need to. It's kind of hard to explain. So they tried to be unique in this game in that way. It's never made sense to me. It doesn't feel good. And it's one of the two main reasons why I don't think tanking feels good in ESO in general. I like tanking a lot. I'm not saying, I don't want to say it doesn't feel good in general. It doesn't feel good relative to other MMO tanking. Okay. So and, you know, coming from Final Fantasy, coming from World of Warcraft, um, whenever I've tanked, it's always been in an AoE fashion. And you also typically do a decent bit of damage so that if you're, you know, questing around in the Overland, I don't have to create another build. I don't have to have a DPS build to do that stuff. I can complete all the content quests, do completionist content, whatever I want to do, I can do that. And ESO, if you're a tank, you don't do any damage at all, like just straight up no damage. And... It's because you're essentially there. The way that you look at like a healer and a tank in ESO is not like its own thing. Like it's only present in, in group activities. Like it's not like, a, it, it's a build, it's a toolkit for group activities, but it is not something that you inherently play throughout the game. That's the way that Zoss like envisioned it and kind of pushed it because they made it extremely um unfun to play healer or to play tank in overland in solo you generally want to be a dps right because they just made it so you don't do any damage you are literally a support character you are built to support your group members and that's it like you have no other purpose in the game so like when you start tanking you're actually supposed to go from what we call selfish sets where you're focusing on your own survivability and sustain to that where you're boosting the damage of the of the group when you get enough experience, you know, you know, mechanics and all that stuff. You want to run sets that are really buffing the damage of the group and not really helping yourself. It's it's really it's really kind of weird. Um, and one of the biggest things in ESO is that single target system. Well, Tormentor was actually a set that you could use and it would enable you to have an AoE taunt, which was very, very unique. And it was very exciting because for me, you know, it... I would never use it in like in-game content, like super high in-game content, but I would use it in a lot of instances. I had a lot of builds where, you know, for normal like trials up until the boss for like trash packs or in dungeons or, you know, in infinite archive even, I was having a lot of fun with it. And honestly, it was really there for people trying to get into tanking. Um, a lot of the decisions that Zenimax has made early on in the game and they've stuck with, um, for tanking is the reason why we don't have that many tanks in the game. It generally is not fun um, for a lot of people to tank in the style that ESO wants you to. I enjoy it now because I like I like teaching pugs. I like having control of the fight. I like, you know, I've, I've just always liked the things that 
make you want to tank, but they've made it bad and not really super accessible and intuitive for newer players. And Tormentor was one of those sets that kind of bridged that gap because I could say, hey, if you're a Templar, you can have a sword and shield and an ice staff on your back bar just like normal, but you use explosive charge, which is basically this gap closer that Templars have. And when it hits, it blows up in front of everybody or you basically do a bunch of damage in an AOE fashion that would taunt all of them. So it was always one of those things. It was it was something that was nice, especially for Templars, because Templar tanks historically have not been as strong in um, group content as other tanks. That doesn't mean you can't do it. They're very good. But if you compare it to group utility, you know, with like a Dragon Knight, an Arcanist, a Necromancer, um, it's just not, it's not on the same level. It doesn't mean it's not good. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, that you can't do content with it. I do it all the time. Um, but that was one of the unique things about Tormentor is it actually meshed well with Templar. And just like this year again, for the last 10 years, Zoss has completely ignored um, Templar support roles. We haven't gotten any buffs or anything. I think that Magicka Templar DPS and, and Stamina is, is largely fine. Um, but when you come to Templar support roles, I think we're really struggling. And it's just kind of flown under the radar. It took a while for them to look at Sorcerer, and they finally are. And it took a while for them to look at Necromancer, and they finally are. So I hope they see the feedback and they introduce some new changes for Templar tanks um, specifically. But, yeah, so ultimately, you know, this set was not unbalanced. It was not being used in endgame activities as a cheese. It was not um, being used in PvP. Um it was literally used by beginning tanks, Templar tanks for a unique build, but the, the downside of it was always that you're having to give up a full five piece set in order to have an AOE taunt. So it was a plus minus system. You basically had to understand, hey, you're gonna be losing out on a lot of buffs for yourself or the group. In exchange though, you get an AOE taunt and that's a huge quality of life bonus. Um, so this is what they said and it, it, it really is kind of mind boggling. So the developer comment was, this set has flown under the radar at allowing an AOE application of a taunt for quite some time, but like all things in life, it must come to an end. Why? Why? While this is a very old functionality of the item set, AOE damaging movement abilities were spread few and far between during its introduction to the game. You've got Stampede, so people were doing two-hander tanks with this, that's dead. Um, explosive charge tormentor tanks, that's dead. Um, it's just, it's mind boggling. So it's AOE taunt capabilities were effectively unnoticed. They were not unnoticed. Um, a lot of beginner tanks and intermediate tanks use this and a lot of unique builds use this. I had a, a very like turn your brain off kind of tank that you could use an infinite archive and get kind of far, um, do it not kind of far, like not like arc 34, but you could get to arc six, arc seven pretty easily with it. And it was great. Um, over time, however, we've added significantly more of these ability types. Um, and this item set has enabled behavior that goes against one of our core philosophies for tanking, where taunting should be an individual action meant for one specific target in the moment of activation. This is one of the only games where they do this. And I've never really understood why they're so adamant on there being a single target taunt. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't feel good when you have a brand new tank that's not comfortable in a dungeon yet and you've got nine mobs that get pulled and they get all stressed and maybe they let one of the mobs go like that's that's not like something that feels good and tormentor kind of bridged that gap for a lot of people until they understood the dungeon and kind of the whole process of tanking but this is still completely mind-boggling to prevent a complete loss to this set, it now works with blinks, and we added a new healing functionality to help ensure chain activating the abilities still provides something fun and impactful. Okay, so this set is a complete loss now. The only reason that people used um, Tormentor, and I'd love to see a build that used it for a different reason. The only reason people used Tormentor was for an AoE taunt. Nobody, nobody used it for anything else, honestly. Because having a different application of a single target taunt is not worth um, a five piece bonus at all. Because essentially what you're doing is you don't have to use um, something like pierce armor or puncture or whatever. 
you're I mean you would be losing major and minor breach but you know you're using a gap closer now so it's still a single target taunt now except you have a gap closer nobody is going to use this set at all this is now turned into a heal set um, and battalion defender is much more beneficial than this ever will be. You spamming a gap closer like streak or explosive charge over just simply blocking and healing you and the entire group, this set is completely dead now. And the people that are implementing this change, um, I feel like are completely out of touch with the game and I, I feel like they don't play the game, honestly. I know that there are a lot of developers that do play the game, but I'm, I, I would be hard pressed to find a developer that plays the game that would okay this change. Um, because this was, it was a very unique set for a very specific purpose. It was never used in any other way. And I just, I just don't really understand um, the, the thought process behind this because it was not broken, it was not unbalanced, it was used by beginners and you're just decreasing accessibility and you're honestly decreasing one of the only bonuses of being a Templar tank when we already have none. Um, so pretty upset with this change. I don't really, I don't really understand. Um, I've never seen anybody complain about Tormentor ever, um, in 10 years. <laughs> and this is just kind of wild. This is, this is kind of the, the old Zoss, um, that I thought we had gone away from where Zoss used to just kind of do changes that no one asked for and changes that were not necessary and made the game worse. Um, now, am I saying that all of ESO is worse because of this change? No, but this is just a net negative um, for no reason. And that's, that's what I mean. It's making, to a degree, a small degree, but to a degree, it's removing um, fun tanking builds from the game and um, making a beginner tank's life more difficult. We already have very few tanks in the game and you're hurting that even more. So I hope that somebody at Zenimax sees this. I hope, I mean, I posted something on the forums as well, and I'm just kind of waiting on them to wake up a little bit with this change. And I hope they revert it, honestly, entirely. I think it's really done, honestly. Let me know what y'all think. Are you guys on board with this change? Are you against it? Want to hear your thoughts? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.